Hey, what's up guys? Peach out here bringing you Challenge Rift 50. It's been 50 weeks of Challenge Rifts. I have to apologize for not getting a Challenge Rift video out last week. It was a holiday in the United States and I ended up honestly forgetting about it because I was having so much fun hanging out with the family. Sorry if you came and checked for that Challenge Rift and it wasn't there, I apologize. But here's Challenge Rift 50 and we will have them every week going forward. So thanks for hanging out. Let's get in there and check it out. All right, guys, as soon as we get in, let's click on our soul mirror. We are playing an unhallowed essence multi shot demon hunter build. So we have the six piece unhallowed essence. We have a Yang's recurve. The quiver is not the correct quiver. We don't really have the right belt or rings or gems or sockets or a ring in our cube or boots. But we do have Dawn. That's a good thing. The main thing I want to know is do we have vengeance? And we do. And do we have enough cooldown to keep it permanently up? And we do not. We only have 19.65%. So basically, when you cast Vengeance, you can see that it's ticking down. But unfortunately, we're not going to have enough cooldown, it looks like, to keep Vengeance on 100% uptime. And that's a shame, because that's really the way that you want to go about this build. But other than that, we have Multi-Shot bound on the one key. That's a horrible key binding for me personally. Um, you have Vault on two, you have your Wolf Companion on three, and you have your Preparation on four. So the build is actually set up properly. The keys are in funny spots, so I'm going to switch them from what I'm used to playing. You can do that on PC by right-clicking on the skill. It pulls up the skills pane, and then you can literally just left-click and drag things around. So I am going to flip a couple of the abilities. For me, I'm going to put Vengeance on one, and then I'm going to put Vault on three and Wolf Companion on two. Other than that, this is how I would set it up. The basic way that you play UE, it's a pretty simple build. But what you do is you can Wolf Companion for damage bursts. Honestly, probably would be surprised if you can't just spam it on cooldown. You can probably spam Vengeance on cooldown. You can Vault to avoid damage and to move fastly through the Rift. And then you can preparation pretty much on cooldown because you should never have full discipline as long as you're vaulting to move around. Evasive fire to get your hatred back. And then you're going to spend your hatred with your multi shot. I will go over how to play it during the rift run. I'm not going to waste time reading all the abilities. Uh, most of the things for this build, like the six piece damage bonus for UE, you really can't influence that too much with how you play. It's mainly based on your build. Vaulting around and using up all your discipline does lower your damage. So you do want to make sure that you keep some discipline stacked up because the six piece bonus increases your damage by 100% per point of discipline. So that's pretty big. You're going to get damage reduction every time there's not an enemy within 10 yards of you. That's kind of passive. You don't really have to manage that too much. Um, if you stay swamped with enemies the whole time, that can fall off, but usually you don't have to worry about it. Those are the only two really big things that you need to know about this build is don't use up all your discipline or you won't have any damage. And then every 10 seconds or so, you need to make sure there's nothing around you for a fraction of a second. Let's get in there, check it out and see how this run goes. All right, guys, as soon as we load in, I'm pretty much just gonna pop every cooldown I have because um, you want to get your vengeance up. It looks like there's a double pack of elites as soon as we get in here. So that's juicy, we like that. There's a big open area down there and some shock towers. So let's go see what we got down there. So what I'm doing is I'm vaulting around and then I'm holding my right click because I rebound that to the multi shot. So I vault with my three and then I'm left clicking once just to get a little hatred back. And then I'm right clicking and spamming shots until things die. Every second or so I will go ahead and hit the right click to keep casting my multi-shot. And I mean, every second or so, I will hit left click to cast my evasive fire to get hatred back. But as you can see, you kind of just mow through the rift and just kill everything that we can. It looks like the timer is super, super, super generous this week. Um, keep your vengeance, your wolf companion on cooldown if you want to. You can save those for big elites if you want, like that elite pack, double elite pack we had as soon as we came in the rift. I would pop everything on that double elite pack just to get started, get yourself a little free space, um, and then kind of just stand in place and, and shoot the elites and, and uh, mow them down. Um, so as you can see, we're just vaulting through the rift, casting evasive fire every time we stop the vault, and then casting multi-shot followed up with that. So it's vault, 
evasive fire, multi-shot, vault, evasive fire, multi-shot. And I kind of just repeat that process. We got a conduit pylon as soon as we get in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all my cooldowns again. And I am going to vault through the rift looking for an elite pack. I haven't pre-played this rift. This is my very first run on this challenge rift this week. So I'm not 100% sure where the elites are at. It looks like there's not that many. Here's one at least. So we're gonna get at least one with a conduit. Again, my discipline is kind of low, so I wanted to make sure I cast my cooldowns, especially my preparation if I have it to get that discipline back. You want to keep your discipline as high as you can. Um, it looks like things are dying so easy with this build, it's not a big deal. So again, Vault, which for me is number three. If you switch, don't switch your keybinds, it's number two, but Vault, Evasive Fire, Multi-Shot. Vault, Evasive Fire, Multi-Shot. And you can just kind of move through the rift doing that. Makes it super easy. If you have cooldowns, you can pop them. With this power pylon, it doesn't really matter. Things are just gonna get melted. We're gonna take this down. It looks like, oh my gosh, man, this might be one of the most generous timers that they've given us in a long time. Rift Guardian is already up, guys. So I'm just gonna pop my cooldowns one more time if I have any. Oh, I vaulted into that smash. That's funny. Um, so this is an extremely, extremely easy week, guys. Extremely easy week. Rift complete. It took two minutes and something. Three minutes, it looks like. Um, you can see how easy that rift was. Vault, evasive fire, multi-shot. Keep your vengeance, your wolf companion, and your preparation on cooldown. Um, you can save wolf companion and vengeance and preparation for the elite packs if you want to not necessary for this build so enjoy guys if you have any questions you can catch me live on twitch seven days a week monday through friday at 9 p.m central standard saturdays and sundays at 11 p.m central standard that's chicago time in the united states so you can convert the time zones for yourself or leave a youtube comments below and i will check that out i try to reply to as many comments as i can so come hang out with me and I will see you guys next week for Challenger 51. Peace.